Okay, we'll start going back home. Oh my gosh, so much to explore. It's a really good spot. Where will we? Yeah, right there. I remember the um, the ruins kind of on the um, thing. So we'll go back to the ruins tomorrow, maybe. <laughs> One more door, and then we'll go back. They're not complaining about going back anymore. Oh, what's that? The sun on the other side, I think. Need to go do that. Time to go home. Can't wait to sit on my armchair. Wish I had an armchair. When I was a kid, I was asking if um, your eyeshadow could match your um, outfit. And my sister said no. It should not. But I think it should maybe sometimes. Colorful eyeshadow. Has there been another decade where there was colorful eyeshadow? <laughs> Can you wear colorful eyeshadow to prom? Can you wear it if you're doing like a puppet show for kids? <laughs> Can you wear it if you're like a carny? <laughs> um, hmm. Can you make a smoky eye with this eyeshadow palette? Um, on glow up. In England, they're always like, oh, everybody wants a smoky eye. <laughs> like, I work at a makeup counter, everybody just wants a smoky eye. I've never really done that before. I don't really know how to. Maybe I should look it up on YouTube. Maybe I should try and do a smoky eye. I'm going to have those um, Q-tips. Those black Q-tips. Maybe I can... They're for makeup, too. Black Q-tips. Maybe I could try making a smoky eye. Because there are a bunch of different browns, and I don't really know what else you'd add with it. I assume you use a lighter color too sometimes, right? Hmm. If this, if the last video, if any of these videos go viral, um, maybe you could start a new trend. I was waiting for something to go viral, I was going to say. And then I was like, oh, some of my articles have gone viral. Like, um, I was in the top ten for Thought Catalog a bunch of times. And then they, I think they kind of changed their formula a little bit. And um, a lot of times, if you if you log into Thought Catalog and you just pick a topic, like um, LOL, I'm usually on there. And then um, I was on... Um, there are probably like thousands of articles published, like weekly. 
um, and um, on their Facebook page, um, they have featured articles. Like they feature like thirty a day, and I've already been on there twice, and I didn't really scroll down very much because I don't really care. But I scrolled down like twenty five articles, and I was two of them. So like I um. Um, I forget. I like applied to something recently or like updated my resume or like maybe just were on social media that I can like call myself like a gone viral like author. So, um, it wouldn't be implausible <laughs> for plausible cosmetics to also go viral. So maybe we could have colorful eyeshadows someday. Would you like that? He has an armchair. Red armchair. Uh, I kind of feel like armchairs might have gone out of style with like Archie Bunker because he has that like iconic green armchair and he was like very racist. In uh, All in the Family, the TV show All in the Family. Are they comfortable? My, uh, my former landlady used to have a green armchair, just like Archie Bunker, and she was not racist at all. So, um, this goes to show you that we can all still have armchairs. <laughs> Let's go home. <laughs> Could you be like a hipster and wear like a lot of colorful eyeshadow? You can be a goth and wear something besides black. Uh, there is a black in there. Um, could you blend something with black? Um, maybe you just want to be a princess and wear a different shade of pink every day, you know? You can always kill it early, you know, I'd rather just have uh, too much time in the end early than go over. I wish I was reading more of the book, you know? It's, I, lately I just want to keep reading, like, so badly. <laughs> more than one page of Lessa Zarathustra. Let's spoke of Zarathustra. We're going to play with the music. I wonder if the king can hear it in his sleep. Starting to feel a little like fall. Like a fall. Very nice. Damn. 
things there. Man. How do you get people to wear, like, colorful eyeshadow? <laughs> Maybe this is, like, the worst one to do. <laughs> I was like, everyone's gonna love this! <laughs> As I say in Little Women, it could become the fashion. Okay. The slugs are too strong. So where are we? So we're talking to the saint who we doubt a little bit as of now. And they're talking about like altruism, I guess. I guess he's making a joke because the saint laughs. So this is it might be like a koan almost. I give no alms, I'm not poor enough for that. The saint laughs at their sister and say thus, then see to it that they accept thy treasure. They are distrustful of anchorites. Guess maybe that's like um isolated person. I like a weirdo. <laughs> Some kind of like isolated weirdo. And do not believe that we come with gifts. So I'm in the same category. Yes, there are some isolated weirdos. The fall of our footsteps ringeth too hollow through their street. And just as at night when they are in bed and hear a man abroad long before sunrise, so they ask themselves concerning us, where goeth so I guess some people are leaving because people are immoral, and then the immoral people doubt the people who are leaving. Go not to men, but stay in the forest. Go rather to the animals. Why not be like me, a bear amongst bears, a bird amongst birds? And what doth the saint in, and what doeth doth the saint in the forest? As Zarathustra. What you up to? The saint ants besides them, blending with animals. The saint answered, I make hymns and sing them, and in making hymns I laugh and weep and mumble. Thus do I praise God. Hmm. He's a singing type. He's in the forest and he's singing. With singing, weeping, laughing, and mumbling do I praise the God who is my God. But what do, dost thou bring us as a gift? Maybe his wisdom. When Zarathustra had heard these words, he bowed to the saint and said, what should I have to give thee? Let me rather hurry, hence lest I ought away from thee. And thus they parted from um, So he didn't give him anything. And thus they parted from one another, the old man and Zarathustra, laughing like schoolboys. Okay. And Zarathustra was alone, however, he said to his heart, Could it be possible? This old saint in the forest hath not heard of it, that God is dead. That's kind of a cliffhanger. When Zarathustra arrived at the nearest town, which adjoined us to the forest, he found many people assembled in the marketplace. And I think Zarathustra believed the God was dead. When Zarathustra arrived at the nearest town, he found many people assembled in the marketplace. Now he is in town. For it had been announced that a rope dancer would give a performance. Okay, so they had culture. And Zarathustra spake thus unto the people. I teach you the superman. Man is something... I wonder if it came from this book. Man is something that is to be surpassed. What have ye done to surpass man? So he seems like he's trying to um, 